Hey, everybody, welcome back to Comic Book Punch. <laughs> because today is my favorite time of day. What time my of favorite, day is my it? My favorite kind of day. What kind of day is it? It's kind of Batman day. It's kind of Batman day. What Just is this? Kind of. 75 years? 75? Is it 75? 76? 76? Well, last year was 75. Oh, is it? Yeah. I don't know. I think it's 76. I'm excited. 76 years? That's awesome. That's a long time for being the Batman. Dark Knight. Yeah. yeah. That's a long time. That's, that's awesome. But what? Man. 75? I think that's about how old he is in the Dark Knight, right? He's up there. He's up there. He's up there. But we're going to be talking about our recommended reading. The Batman Killing Joke. Yay! Oh. Yes, reading. We're going to read. We're not so much going to focus on the movie... We're going to just focus on the reading today. On the reading. Uh, I mean, if you've seen the movie, the movie's basically just the reading. Yeah, it is. Minus <laughs> the whole 45 minutes of Bad nonsense girl. and nudity. Nudity? What? What? Nudity. what movie did you guys watch? <laughs> what movie did you watch? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> I thought that was you who was sitting next to us. Maybe it was somebody else. That was weird. <laughs> In the baseball cap. That was the wrong theater, guys. Um... But you you didn't end up reading this. I did. You saw the movie. Yeah. Well, I actually saw the movie first. I mean, I kind of knew of the story. I saw the movie first, and I gave that a read through. Yeah, I had a couple days ago. I had bought this almost uh, like what six months okay. before the movie came out. Okay. And then I read it like the day before we went to go see the movie in the theater. Yeah, it's totally a quick a quick read. Yeah, it's um, not it's not long at all. And it's definitely that whole extra that they added in the movie was definitely needed to make it a movie. A movie? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because they could have knocked it down in, what, a half hour episode. If yeah, this could have been, really... yeah, just could have been a, a TV show special. But overall, in general, really good. The Killing Joke is probably one of my favorite Batman storylines that I've read so it far. It definitely doesn't end how you expect it to end. And I think that's probably one of my favorite things about it. It was the ambiguous ending. Like it's kind of definitely up to the reader to kind of really figure out figure out what, what happens. happens at the end. Did you read this extra here? Um, a little bit, it kind of, and then it didn't really get me anywhere. Really? Oh, that the the extra this, in the back? No, I didn't. No, read, no, no. no, I didn't read any of that. No, not this. that has nothing to do. Just no, I don't, just this written by. I just read the juicy of the meat. You know, Brian, yeah. I just go straight for Patty. Skip. Well, the I think. Overall, let's give me what, what. What do you rate this? Like one out of ten. Um, one out of ten. It's a solid like eight. I think eight. it was really good. I think the um, the way they you know just use the Joker and I mean he's just an awesome character. They can do so much with him, but he's pretty insane in this in the storyline. It's awesome. And this one, yeah, he yeah. I mean, he's wicked. He's. I mean, he's he's. I think pretty much how you how you would want the Joker to be. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's. He's, gnarly. he's cruel but i mean i enjoyed it i enjoyed this joker in yeah here. um my i i mean i give it probably not a complete nine like maybe okay like an eight eight point seven it's up there it's still up there it's a good it's um, overall a good read very good um but I think I, I think I might have might have uh, gotten something out of this than most people would get out of it because I kind of look at Joker in a different way than other people do. Okay, and so that that whole ending, um, um, with with between him and between him and and the Joker, I mean you you get to see a totally different side of Batman in this too. You do so right, right from the beginning because he goes in straight into Arkham to go confront the Joker um, about their relationship, almost. Yeah, about the, about the relationship. Where it's right? heading, and it was just like you know, one of us is going to kill each other, one or the other. Um, you know, one of us is going to die, um, and Batman really, honestly, truthfully, is like, I'm being vulnerable with you right now. Joker like, really opens up like really lays everything like, out on the line pretty much is like i don't want like he's to kill you and i don't want to die going. yeah yeah i don't want to kill going. you i don't want to die so can we come up with some kind of like truce mm -hmm. like make peace mm -hmm. between us um but then he finds out that it's not joker that he's talking to 
Right. That's where the story takes off from. Yeah. And he's off to go hunt down the Joker. Yeah. Um, but this is where Barbara Gordon, the whole scene, and you see it constantly throughout the New 52. Yeah. Um, of, of Batgirl, of her going back to that moment of seeing the Joker getting shot paralyzed i mean it's a traumatic event it's it it, and it really does a number on her it's a dark even in the in the book like it's a really dark scene just the comments and the jokes that he's made while she's bleeding out on the floor bleeding out and he's just she's she's dying she's in pain and he's it's it's twisted it's twisted. twisted definitely a recommended book to read like you guys have to check it out and then he goes and he he kidnaps her his that's Commissioner Gordon. And, and what he does to him is awful. Strips him down. Yeah, and like... Forces her to look at all these photos that he took of, her do- of his daughter dying. And yeah, it's sick. His main thing was to make him go crazy. That was his whole point. Just... And, that, and that's always been, I think, Joker's main point in everything that he does. To try to prove that everybody else is just as insane as him was it It just takes a bad day one bad day to make anyone freak out and switch it over into yeah. crazy land and that's what the joker's trying to prove but but it doesn't the, it doesn't really it happen fails. for him in the story yes yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, it's 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 actually quite amazing to see how strong commissioner gordon is yeah throughout, definitely throughout all of this mm-hmm. um and even batman you know the vengeance comes out in Batman, yeah, and wanting to get back at Joker for for what's happened. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think the whole story definitely comes down to that last joke. In the end, I mean, it makes it kind of brings everything full circle, definitely. Um, because once again, the final scene between Batman and the Joker is the first scene, again, and he yes. he goes through it. He's like, look. One of us is going to kill one another, you know, and I want to do whatever I can to avoid that, to make this peace. And, yeah. You know, he already has Joker beat. And Joker's just there on the ground. He just, just, he's like, no. Yeah. I've already made up my mind, kind of thing. He's like, and there's no turning back. Yep. Like, there's no turning back from this direction that I have already decided to go. And then he goes in to tell that joke. And, I mean... Which is awesome. The way they set it up, too, is really good. The joke is actually pretty funny itself. But I love the fact that Batman gives that little grin. And he's, like, having a moment with the Joker. And then that ending, that last pretty much three frames of the, of the comic book, it totally leaves you, like, what just happened? What did I just witness? There's also a new origin story, isn't there? The Joker's origin story is introduced in this. Mm, right. In this. this is the first time he actually has a has a backstory of how he right. becomes his Joker. Mm-hmm. And that's with, with the Red Hood. Um, and then that whole story changes, um, I think, in the New 52. Okay. Um, it's, a different, it's a different kind of origin story for the Joker. Um, which is definitely, this is definitely a book. Like, go out, pick it up, read it, or go see the movie. Because the movie is pretty much... Like frame for frame again. Ignore the, the first like half hour, and everything yeah. else is really crucial. Um, but that last the the last scene between them, like Batman and the Joker, last Joker time. tell tells a joke, tells a joke, and Batman starts laughing at the joke, like this and they, is, it's funny, and they're both. It ends with them both just cracking up. Yes. But here's the thing, like, they both start laughing together, and you can see one laugh extends another laugh. Yeah. And then it just, and then there's kind of silence, and then there's just dead rain. So, what really happens? There's a lot of different theories on this. I don't know. I don't want to say what's final. My opinion, it's just a great ending. And I love how it just keeps people asking questions about the ending, too, so... But I think that's that's where I think everything that you do there's there's a joke that's going on that the Joker is doing. And I think there's there's an underlining joke. I like to think that this book it all hinges on that last moment. It all hinges on that joke. Yep. This is the killing joke. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, it wasn't 
you know, Barra getting shot. It wasn't him taking the photos or forcing Commissioner Gordon or anything like that. It, this whole story is is based on this ending right yeah. here. Yeah. Um, that you just kind of like. Some people, some people were like, I, I don't get it. Some um, people hated it. Yeah, but I was just like, this <laughs> is beautifully done. Genius. It's beautifully done. So, check it out, Batman and the Killing Joke. Um. And, Didn't uh, we mention Batman Day? Yeah, Batman Day for Batman. This we did Batman Day. Awesome. Yeah, at the beginning. And uh, have a happy Batman Day. Yes, go guys. out, have fun. Let us know in the comments of your personal review of the Killing Joke and what you did for Batman Day. Yeah, I'm probably or maybe wear... you can also comment your favorite Batman story. Yeah, awesome. And There's then we'll a lot probably of good do ones out there. probably do some more reviews coming up. So keep a uh, keep an eye out for those and. Um, do you want me to show my Batman underwear now, or do you want me to? Want yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. Here? Just, just stand up and show them. Yeah, they got a wide angle for this one. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs>